Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make digital prints to sell on Etsy using the free design website Canva. This is an incredible resource that I recommend if you want to start making digital downloads and printables to sell and make passive income. So let's get started. So I've logged on to Canva and I'm just using my free account. You can also purchase a monthly plan that offers premium features, but for what I'm showing you today, uh, you will only need a free account. So when you are going to make designs using Canva, there are a ton of templates that you can browse through depending on what you would like to make, such as a planner, worksheet, letter, lesson plan. Today I'm going to be making wall art that will be a digital download printable for the children's market on Etsy. So I'm just going to type in my custom dimensions, eight by 10 inches and press create new design. So this is going to open up in a new tab. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and talk to you a little bit more about what I'm making today and why why the wall art market is such a great one on Etsy. So uh, I'm on Etsy and I've just typed in children's wall art set printable. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a set of printable wall arts in Canva. And just to show you an idea, if you see these right here, um, this is a nursery print set of three prints. So what this seller did was they made these individual prints, this ABC print, this rainbow print, and then this number print. They probably are selling them each individually and then also offering them in this set that they have mocked up for either a discounted price or the same price as all three would have been. So this is something that I do Often, when I make individual prints, I will select some that I feel work really well together and then group them, create a mock-up photo like this one. We'll just take a look at this dinosaur one. Create the mock-up photo and then list it as that set. And this is a really amazing option to bundle your items and then get a bigger a bigger sale. Okay, so I'm going to be making a set of three animal prints for nursery children's room wall art. So we have our blank page right here. Um, to make the additional designs, all you have to do is press this plus button or add a new page, and that is what we will be doing once we get to that step. I'm going to just show you really quickly, if you've never seen Canva before, once you create your dimensions and it opens this up, it starts you off on templates right here. If you would like to drag and drop a template in, you can browse to photos and use their photos, but I am not 100% sure on the license of these photos and if you are able to do anything with them like sell them in any way I, I don't I'm not sure I don't use the photos I would be really cautious about that and make sure to look into it first there are elements that you can use and I believe these are I mean because a lot of these elements are so basic like these shapes I should probably be okay to use them I'm not sure about these animals but it might be for personal use and you might or you might have to purchase a premium license to sell to sell things with these icons. We're going to be using the text today, so I'm just going to drag and drop a header right here. We won't be using any music. There's also videos, background. If you would like to add a background color, you can just press a color. I'm just going to stick with white or you can drag and drop 
these backgrounds depending on what you need them for and then down to uploads so this is where you upload your own photos your own images your own clip art so I have uploaded three animal clip art items that I'm going to use today a raccoon a fox and a deer these are clip art illustrations that I have drawn myself in the Procreate app for iPad and I will be making another video about how to make clip art and my clip art process. I do have some tutorials on my page, some really simple beginner tutorials of simple things that you can draw. So go ahead and check those out if you are interested in learning how to make your own clip art or your own illustrations in Procreate. So I'm going to drop my fox there and I'll have to adjust it in a little bit. I want it to say dream big, but I want to change the font. So I'm going to go pick a font that I like. So a lot of these fonts are premium. If you press it, try to use one with the little crown it's going to offer you an option to try the premium plan for free for 30 days but we're not going to do that so that's what that little crown means there we go this is the one I wanted this one is called Amatic SC and it has this really fun like almost dreamy handwritten look dream big and that's going to bother me because the fox doesn't look centered. Let's see. So that's centered. But the only thing is, is when I center my fox, it looks off because of where the tail is. So I'll, I will just center it pretty much based on his ears. And a way that I can kind of fix that is maybe make this a lot bigger. Okay, I like that. Now I'm going to press add a new page. And now I'm going to add my, mm, let's do the deer. Okay, so I need my deer to be smaller. Just want to make sure it's in a similar place. I kind of wish that they would allow you to put the when you're adding new pages to put them side by side. Let me see if it will if I can look at it this way. Okay, I like that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to drag it here. But in this one, I'm going to write B. And before I forget to mention it, I'm going to be linking these ball art printables in the description box below so that you can download these prints and use them in your own home. So be sure to check those out after you watch the video. Let's see, it's 135. This looks almost too small, but maybe this fox needs to be rotated just a little bit. Okay, so that's cute. Okay, now I'm going to be making one more. I'm going to drag my raccoon, sizing it down. I'll just take a look. I have to make that even smaller to look. My deer looks too small. Okay, and then just duplicate. 
So if you ever want to duplicate anything, you just select the item, go over here, press duplicate. There are other options if you select it. If you right click, you can copy it, paste, delete, and then these are when you have items that you are layering it. You can send an item to the back, send it backward, bring forward, bring to front. Or you can set the image as a background and that just makes it large and take up the whole page. Okay, I'm going to duplicate this, drag it down, zoom in again so I can adjust it. And this one, I'm going to put have Oops, adventures. Hmm. That one's not going to fit very well. Let's see what I can do. I might have to make this a little bit smaller. Let's see. Almost. Almost have it. It's almost too big. Let's change it to have and then we'll bring it back to 135. So now we have our three wall prints. We have dream big. Let me zoom back in. So we have dream big, be brave, and have fun. And I, what I would do is mock these up in a frame and um, sell them individually. And then I would mock them up in a three set frame and sell them as a bundle. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to save and download these. So to save it, I would just go file, save to a folder. If you don't have a folder, you'd press create new and create your new folder. I already have a folder I want them in. I'm going to press save. And now the way that you can share them, there are multiple options. So I typically save my wall art printables as a JPEG file. And it's going to save all three pages. I'm just going to download it. And then what it's done is it's given me a zip file. So I'm going to pull that up really quick. Okay. So I've opened it up and they have given me my three files right here. My dream big, be brave and have fun. And before I'd give them to, before I'd make a listing and sell them on Etsy, I would label each of these. So, the Fox, let's see, Deer, and Raccoon. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I would mock up these wall art printables. So I've uploaded my JPEGs to Canva, and then I've also uploaded this frame mockup that I purchased on Etsy. You can find some free mockups on Google. Make sure you have a commercial license to use them. There are also many awesome options on Etsy and Creative Market. Uh, so if you're wanting to mock up frames, then, or sorry, if you're going to want to mock up wall art, it's awesome and a great idea to have a mock up like this to show what you have created. So what I would do is I put the mock up behind it and then I'm just going to drag in and resize the printables to fit into the frame. When you're looking for frame mockups, it's a good idea to have the image size in mind that you want to use. 
Okay, good enough. So there's one of them. There's my other one and then the last one. Okay, so that is how I would create the mock-up in Canva. All you need to do is upload your mock-up image and then place those printables that you created on top of it. All right, so that is how you create digital prints to sell on Etsy using Canva. Um, remember that these wall prints are going to be available for download in the description box below. They are free to use, just not free to sell. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more tutorials like this one. Thank you so much.